Where were you? Fruitlessly trying to rectify a ratty transgression. Huh. You want some coffee? No. What? What? Well, I know you well enough to know that when you say no to coffee, especially in the morning, all is not right in Whoville. Very astute. <laughs> so, last night. Ah, last night was Chernobyl and the Hindenburg combined. Right, just checking. <laughs> My father almost hit someone. My father's probably only hit another man in college, wearing boxing gloves and one of those Fred Mertz golden gloves pullover sweaters. Fred Mertz? I love Lucy, Fred Mertz. Landlord of Ricky, husband Ethel, I know. It's just a weird reference. Hello, pajamas. Right, continue. My father had a meltdown, first with your father. He was asking for it. And, and, and then with me. And then, you and me. Oh, boy. Don't say it like that. Stupid. Dumb. Much better. And to top off the whole fabulous fiasco, I stood up a friend of mine who was counting on me, and and he just stood there looking hurt with the paint and the chairs, and it hurt me, and it's not your fault, but in this parade of stupid and dumb, I am the one twirling the flaming baton. Laura? What? I want to marry you. And the hits just keep on coming. Just think about it. Think about it before you make a rash. You are out of your mind. You are completely insane. You have flipped your lid. Charlie Manson is freaked out by you right now. Come on, we're already a family. Who? Who's a family? Us, you, me, and Rory. You don't even know what a family it's is. It's people living together. No, it's, it's a big commitment. It's responsibility. It's hard work. It's coming home at the same time to the same place every day. OK, so what do you want, financial statements? I can be a family man. I'm responsible now. Honey, you can't even buy a book without having your credit card declined. Oh, man, I told Rory not to rat me out. I can't believe she did that. She didn't. Andrew from the bookstore called, and Jackson, and the UPS guy, and ooh, it was the lead story on the Stars Hollow webpage. And then I asked Rory, and she very reluctantly confirmed it. Rat me out. What are you, 16? I'm sorry. And what are you doing telling my daughter to lie to me anyway? She's my daughter, too. More like your playmate. You know, I don't deserve that. I'm as mature as you. What? The Offspring is your favorite band. <laughs> so you're into Metallica. Well, Metallica is way more substantial than The Offspring. Here we go. It's the same Black Sabbath riff all over again. Oh, The Offspring have like one chord progression. Uh, they use it over and over. They just pop on new words and call it a single. And I don't want to talk about this anymore. Look, I'm the immature one. I'm the irresponsible one. I was the one willing to get married when you got pregnant. We were too young. We wouldn't have made it. You know that. Well, we're not too young now. OK, now I need some coffee. What about last night? What did having sex mean to you? It meant that Jose Cuervo still has amazing magical powers. You're funny. We, we can't get married, Christopher. We don't even know each other as adults. Well, let's get married and get to know each other as adults. Well, that's very fiddler on the roof of you. OK, fine. Let's get to know each other right now. What do you want to know? How's your business really doing? Mm -hmm. Lorelai. I knew it. Look, I was going to tell you if it didn't pick up soon. I, I swear. And you just sat there at the table last night, just smiling and nodding while my dad and your dad went on and on about Christopher and his great big business success in California. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to upset anybody. I wanted last night to be nice. Oh, well, it was. Oh, and it would have been much better if I would have announced to the table, hey, on top of everything else you're upset about, I just want to add that I'm the biggest loser in the world. Would that have been festive? You're not a loser. Please. You're a liar, but you're not a loser. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, we're arguing like an old married couple. Doesn't that show potential? Oh, Christopher, I swear to God. I've been looking for the one, Laura. That elusive soulmate, I really have. I just believe it's you. It's always been you. Chris, come on. Rory might be my only child. That's not true. If Tony Randall can crank one out in his 70s, you have decades left to spawn. No. I don't know how much I miss Rory until I see her like this. It's it's easier staying away. No. Don't stay away. Don't. Rory needs her dad. Or a pal, right? I think she'd take a combo.